Hello everyone and welcome back to Vintage Story. My name is Rakuna, and as you can see, I did a little bit of chiseling. Yeah, it's, there was a lot done. Uh, it took a lot of time, uh, but I got I got a lot done uh, in between episodes. There it took a little bit of uh, patience to do this, but uh, I mean, a lot of this game is about patience. Now over here, I want to put like some. Um, some little fences and uh, some little rails and that way I won't fall down now for this particular thing okay um, I, I'm just gonna have to make sure because I installed a new mod which would make it so I can uh, more easily copy chiseled blocks and since I'm probably gonna be making uh, this this the railing probably like all identical um, <laughs> I'll need that little mod. It's gonna help me out. It's gonna make things go a little faster. I see that there's still some blocks pretty much lying around everywhere. I guess I made a mess of myself and I didn't pick myself up. So on the top here, I did uh, put these little things here and, and this is where the windmill is gonna be sticking out right over here. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be, first of all, I need to recollect the windmill that is there and take all the parts and start bringing those things here. And uh, yeah, let's not die again from fall damage, all right? Let's not do that, otherwise uh, Rick's gonna make fun of me. I wonder if I just do it like that, can I get all the parts? I, I hope so. Wait a second, wait a second. Did I just get four sales back out of all this? Or no, okay, I see them ever. Okay, they're, they're in my inventory, so I didn't lose anything. Uh, that is great. <laughs> I was I was slightly worried there. We don't want to lose all of the hard-earned uh, material that we've used. So I will need all of these uh, sails, another windmill rotor, and to begin with, we're going to bring a couple of these axles. And while we're at it, I'm going to bring a large wooden gear. So we'll start with that and we'll come back for more material as we go along. For now, I think it's uh, good to get started. Hi. Yeah. Uh, no, we just started a freaking episode there. Could you please not bug me this episode, right? Could you go and bug somebody else? Maybe there's some other critters out there, other survivors or, you know, traitors. You can go and pass around, throw stones at them. Just leave me alone. Okay, so to begin with, what we want to do is we want to put our axle, not in this, uh, <laughs> not like that, the other way around, like this. And uh, yeah, I didn't remove all my dirt yet because I knew it was going to need it, probably for this exactly so we're gonna do the same thing on either side uh great good thing i chiseled there otherwise i would have taken some fall damage again and that have been fun okay so we're gonna put another axle right here and the other rotor right there that's great now uh i can't do anything until i remove all of these uh blocks that i've put in away there Otherwise, I think they might just break off. Okay, uh, can I kind of move around here? Or am I making myself a little corner I'm going to stay stuck at? Okay, just just for until I get I get all this done there, I'm going to remove these uh, wooden axles. I'm going to take care of removing the remainder of this uh, dirt. All right, thank you, Rick, for all of the skipping. <laughs> ah, we missed a part. Ah, fine. So we can start uh, putting our sails on. I had enough to be able to put uh, five on one and four on one. I am running out of linen afterwards, okay? How, how big is this? So let's make this one five and the other side will make it uh, a four for now. So we're just gonna place our axles here like that. And let's just put our cells on the other side like that. Okay, right. So wind speed, uh, this one is turning at 80 knots and the other one is turning currently at uh, wait a second can i get it okay 100 knots so yeah as soon as i get another cell in uh, that one they're both going to be the same thing now over here it might be a little tricky am i going to be able to kind of put it from low or am i going to be uh having a little bit of issues here uh <laughs> yeah i could always jump down up uh, this way <laughs> okay yeah, I just proved my point. I can do it without taking too much damage. This is good. At the same time, I'm going to be picking up all these freaking blocks there. So let's put our big uh, gear down. And to do that, I need to uh, remove this candle, first of all. Get out of there, buddy. Come back in my inventory. Thank you. And let's put that here. Can I place it here? Creatures in the way. Am I said creature? Okay. Okay, I think I know where you're going with this. I'm going to need to put... Uh, <laughs> I need to put something else here. Or could I put it up top? 
like if I were to put that here and put that there okay now the axle is still gonna be looking uh, that way all right so yeah I'm gonna need some uh, some of the other thingy I never remember the name anyways let's go make some and while I'm at it I might as well collect all of these uh, dirt blocks that fell on the ground well, between episodes, I, I wasn't sure if you could do it, but you can make some uh, porridge with the rye that I've collected. And I've got plenty of that, so that's a, that's great. I've got food that will last me for a freaking long time, that's for sure. Okay, so what do we have here? Angled gears. This, these are what we need. And to make that, I need some more resin and some more lumps of fat. And I have one resin left, and uh, yeah, I got the fat there. Uh... <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go out on a run and collect myself a little bit of resin. So let's put everything in place and I think my tin bronze saw is not strong enough to be able to make it, or maybe I just need my hammer. Uh, that could help a lot. There you go. Yeah, uh, tin bronze saw is almost done, the, the chisel as well. Uh, I think I actually made another one and this is my other one that I'm using right now. I completely went through that whole thing, chiseling that windmill. And yeah, I took my armor back because uh, going outside, I always had some of these monsters. Freaking drifters hurt when I don't have my armor on and it's not good. Maybe I could put some other type of armor that won't give me such a food penalty. All right, so let's do this again. Let's head back up and let's replace these. Alrighty, now we can put our angled gears. We can put our angled gears. We're gonna need them. What the freaking hell? Okay, I don't know what the freaking hell is going wrong there. Did I do something wrong? Is it, is it just me? Okay, this is there. Maybe I gotta put the angled gear now. Ah, oh, there you go, there you go. Ah, uh, look at that go. Look at it go. Isn't it wonderful? All right, time to head back down. Rick, don't let me die. Ow. Jesus. Yeah, well, I guess I didn't die. So, let's get our wooden axles going all the way down. Over here. And this is where I'm going to put my other axle. Here you go. Look at that. And after that, I could, uh, can I walk on it? Okay, good, I can pretty much walk around here. Uh, you might have noticed that I was uh, missing a few light mud bricks. <laughs> I'm missing a few so I can finish this off and kind of close it off and make it look neat. So over here, now that we got this, what we can do afterwards is we can make some more axles go down here, down here, and also, uh, maybe this wooden ladder uh, won't be needed anymore. We can have another axle going down here and we'll be able to power three devices. We can have the Hell's Hammer, we can have the Pulverizer, and we can have the Grinder. And uh, maybe we can put something uh, to turn them on and off to, as we see fit. Two windmills are going to be really useful. They're going to be making a lot of wind power. The only thing is, uh, I don't know if it's gonna be powerful enough to run all three. Now, eventually, if we want, I did leave the possibilities of adding more. I can add one on this side and on the other side as well, which would uh, increase our wind power even more so. Yeah, we have we have a lot, but just for aesthetic purposes, I'm leaving it as is. Now, to give it a more lively look, I was thinking of having some... Let's just tear this out and this one as well. Let's see how it looks if we put some windows in here. Yeah, I think I'm going to like this. So let's do this all around. And there you go. I think that'll look neat. Oh, look at that. I got some more parts in here that I could use. Uh, maybe it'll be enough so I can actually finish uh, uh, the actual setup here completely. And uh, apparently I am going to need to add some uh, some blocks around these. Maybe instead of leaving the light mud brick, I could put some wood around there. Yeah, that could work. I'll kind of figure this out as I go along. And in the meantime, these uh, little blocks that I've managed to collect, if I, they will let me jump on this, I could put them here. Yeah, I'll just turn them around and I'll need to chisel them. And there you go. I think it should look pretty okay from the outside. The only thing is I might kind of uh, have to chisel them Quite a bit so I can actually move around here right now, uh, even the corners here. Yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to chisel uh, all of that, at least so I can really walk around it. Anywho, let's go outside and collect the rest of the parts here. All right, choppity chop chop chop, let's collect all of these freaking pieces. I'll be able to close off the roof as well. Yep, oh, there you go, there you go. Uh, collect all of these wooden axles. 
I think that should give me more than enough. <laughs> All right. We got 14 axles and uh, two more of these uh, angle gears. Now, since I'm going to be working here, I think I'm going to put down a couple of these candles. As I can find a block that I can put it on. Okay, maybe we can leave them on the ground or something like that so we can light up the place just a tad. There you go. Because I need to free my hands if I want to go and do a little bit of chiseling. Now, over here, kind of a little worried. Okay, it doesn't go through the whole thing. Let's go around here. And this is clearly taking a lot of space. And there you go. All right, so it feels a little bit more opened up now. Uh, <laughs> I still get caught in the corners here, but eventually, yeah, that'll be like something that I can chisel out and get it to my liking so I can walk here a little bit more easily. Uh, of course, I won't really need to walk in here once everything's set up and running, but when I do need to come here, I like to be able to move around like a little bit so I don't get stuck in every little nick here okay okay that's good uh rick i hope you've been fast forwarding i know i haven't been asking you much right now uh but i hope you've been fast forwarding in the according uh, times okay so we're gonna poke a hole in here uh make that happen and i suspect that if i put uh, this angled gear here it should connect uh, okay i gotta put two to make this work uh, that kind of sucks. I really need to have two here so it works, right? Is there any way that I can kind of bypass that and not have it do that? And do oh, could you please stop climbing on this freaking ladder? You know what? Ladder for now. Be gone. There you go. You won't get in my freaking way anymore. <laughs> okay, there's. I don't think there's any way that I can do anything about that. I really need to put my two pieces. Okie dokie. There you go. So it seems like as soon as I put that, everything starts going the other side, which is weird, but fine. So now I could just bring down my wooden axles and I could run something here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be running first, but I know that I needed some more lanterns. Yeah, so I'm going to need to get my health hammer in here. And with the carry capacity thing, I could just grab this in my hand. I'm not going to be able to run with it, but I can just walk it over there without being able to open doors. Got Darn it. Okay. Okay. All right. Maybe I can walk a little faster. I really need to make myself a pathway to go directly to my windmill. Because while I have this big heavy thing in my hands, uh, I'm walking at a turtle's pace. You're not going to let me drop it there. Oh, okay. There you go. Let's go inside. And I believe uh, with the way this is, I would kind of like you to do your helping uh, somewhere nearby. I don't know how this is going to come along. I'm going to have to push this a little further in so it goes down here, but I don't know if outside is they're going to let me do that. Anyways, in the meantime, I'm going to drop you right here, right smack in the freaking middle. And it's time to get my help hammer. Ah, yeah, because if I'm looking here, this is a full block. I can't remove this and put the gear to the, the, the axle to go downstairs. That won't work. But I am thinking of one way to make this work. All right, try number two. Okay, this way everything should work. If I put that here and I put this there, then I can connect everything in here directly. And that way I'll be able to bring it down in that snug little area that I made for it. <laughs> Start by plugging up this little hole over here. Make that there, plug that here, and I guess I got to Put one over here like that. And there you go. And a health hammer. That goes like that. I put the little back part here and I put the hammer right smack on that thing. Or on that thing. And then I could move this anvil over here. Out of the way. Out of the way. Out out of the way. There you go. Freaking three times to put that thing down. What the hell's wrong with you? Okay. <laughs> Better stop complaining here. So, you know, I got more of these uh, axles there. I could just start putting them down and kind of free up my inventory. And over here, yeah, I will be removing the ladder because to get up there, I could do it from here. I'm going to make myself a neat little bridge to go from there to the house. 
The only problem that I have right now is I have no more resin. I got some more fat, but I no more resin. So I think I'm going to have to go out on a little resin hunt. And hopefully I'll be able to find some. Because once we have those uh, the resin, we can actually start making some more plates. And I need them. I want to make some more lamps. So I know I like you there, lamp, but I'm going to be needing you for a second. So before we actually head off on our little resin hunt, I'm just going to grab a little chow. Fill up my plate here, and I should be good to go. Yeesh. Looking at this out here, it looks like it's freaking cold as hell. How much is it right now? Minus five? Eh, I've seen worse personally, but it's still freaking cold. So currently we are here. Yeah, that white spot uh, are surrounded by white everywhere, so it's kind of hard to see. And I got like a whole bunch of resin over down here. I'm going to go see if there's uh, anything there or if it has kind of regrown, I, I suppose. All right, so we got our first little batch of resin over here. I'm going to collect it with a knife. I think if you try to pick it up with something else, uh, there is a big chance that you're just not going to get it. Well, I'm saying big chance. I don't really know what's your chances. I'm not checking the whole Wikipedia and checking all the statistics in here. And there you go. There's another one. So we got a grand total of five. Uh, did I miss one? I thought I had like six. I went to six places. Where the frickin' hell is that last resin? I think it might have mysteriously disappeared. Rick, did you make it disappear? Did you eat the resin? I don't know, you're a trash panda. You would eat anything, I'm pretty sure of it. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do? Uh, Rick, what the frickin' hell? Jesus Christ, Rick. Don't you have better things to do? Damn it. Ah, making me waste my time here, Rick. Stop doing that. Anywho, we got a nice little place here with light originating from I don't know where. Uh, do we have an old campfire over here? What the freaking hell is doing that light? Okay, you know what? Let's not question it too much. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's some sort of evil presence. It's a magic. It's voodoo. Oh, there you go. There's a new source here I haven't marked on my map, so let's uh, do it right now, as soon as I find where I am. And save. <laughs> All the resin just for me. So, yeah, no matter how many times you run around, uh, you'll always find some new. Those things can sometimes be rather hard to spot. But I'm really glad that I marked them down, so when I go looking for some, I already have my locations. Alright, so I am back after a little resin run, and I've collected seven. Uh, with this, I think I'm going to change all of them into the gears. Well, maybe not. Not exactly sure how many I'm going to need. I am going to need these, though, and collect a few more branches. But uh, I won't be making you go through that little process. So, Rick, skip ahead. So now that I got what I need, we can start making our other angled gears. And here we go. There you go. Uh... Apparently the chisel had enough to make myself another seven angled gears. Uh, yeah, I, I suspect I'm lucky. So I think I'll be bringing along also my pulverizer. I want to see if I can get all of this to work. So can I put it here? There you go. Look at that little fella go. Uh, currently, I don't think that it's too windy tonight, so it's not working super strong. Uh, but it's going to keep going and going, though. It's not going to be missing any torque, if I'm not mistaken. But that is going to get annoying real quick. All right, <laughs> let's, let's move this along. Oh, my God, I'm not going to be able to go collect it now, will I? There you go. I'm going to stick this here. Can I stick this here? Is there something in the way? What the freaking hell? Okay, there you go. Leave it like this, and eventually I can put... Uh, I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think it's this... Um, break. Yeah, I could easily make this if I had more resin. I just use it all. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. So over here, we can connect this one and we can connect this. So there you go. We could either have our corn here. Now, I know that there is a way of automating this with uh, shoots. Like I could put uh, stuff feeding into the corn and it goes in automatically into the box afterwards. And I think I can do something of the sort as well with the uh, pulverizer. I might have to test it out, but I think it's going to be one step at a time. Right now, what I want to do is I want to close this off and cut myself access to the second floor completely. And I forgot my blocks at home. Yeah. Oh, for crying out loud. A little snow will 
stop me from going outside. Snow is our enemy. So we can uh, completely remove that block and replace it with full plank. And there you go. Except not this one is not the same angle as the other one. It's just bugging me a little bit. Okay, why aren't you placing yourself the correct way? Am I supposed to be looking this way? Okay, there you go. It's working. So let's have this little fella over here. Let's have this fella over. Not like that. I don't like that at all. I want it to be perfect. It's not perfect. Why are you doing this to me? Ah, for crying out loud. Uh, you know what? Yeah, whatever. So, I don't know why it's going after this wall. Automatically, it just wants to go there. Or if I don't like it, I could just put like something over it and hide this. <laughs> kind of kind of try and conceal this little part. Maybe put another another ceiling in between. And you, over here, I could put the pulverizer. Um, gotta remove this thing, though. And place this over here. There you go. Pulverizer like this, and I can put the uh, pulverizer toggle in here, which should be connected directly. I gotta put the two pounders and add the pounder caps. And as soon as I plug it in, it should be working. Let's try it out. Nice. Now, of course, when we get more wind, uh, this will be going a little faster. Now, like I was saying, uh, we can do shoots. Let me just go look for it over here. Hey, yeah, we can make like uh, straight shoots. And I believe I can make everything kind of dump directly into a box. And if I wanted to, maybe I could just kind of raise everything up and have a whole shoot system that as soon as I do something, it'll end up into like an output box. One box to connect them all. But to do shoots, I am going to need a lot of these shoot sections. And I think you can only do it by smithing and with copper that. Anyways, I will not need that for now, I know this is going to come in extremely handy in the future, though, for pulverizing some quartz or other material. But first of all, I wanted to heat this up and make myself a couple of plates. And now that I'm looking in my box, I just realized, do I have any more brown coal? Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. So let's get a few in here and let's heat this little sucker up. Uh, I said heat the sucker up like this, and we'll wait for this to come red hot. We'll take it with our hand, of course. Yeah, not hot enough, right? We'll be fine. But eventually, I'm going to have to go back out and go hunting for some more of that brown coal. I know there's a couple of places west of here, which there are some right over here. Oh, in the meantime, I'm just going to take my corn, move it all the way on the other side, and you'll be going over here. Again, later, I'll be able to put it back up a little bit more, have some shoots, have myself a nice little shoot system. Yeah. Uh, and if you guys want to give me some tips on how to do that, <laughs> that would be greatly appreciated because, uh, yeah, I don't really know my way around that. Not really much. So, again, while this is being done, I can go over here and make myself some more uh, stone pathways because I need to have a, myself a way, well, a pathway to go to my windmill a little faster without the path being overly covered by freaking snow all the time. All right, let's get this little puppy going and let's start making some plates. And because I don't need you right now, I'm going to take this little axle piece and make sure that this little fella here has all the juice it needs to make it. And look at that little sucker, huh? Working a little faster now. I like my new windmill. Okay, Rick, with the power of ed editing, please make this go a lot faster. Hells yes. Oh, that was quick enough. All right, so now we got this one. Let's do another one. Hopefully these are still quite hot. And they sure look like they are. Here you go, Hellfammer. Have another one. And he also satisfying. Yes. So now we got that. Uh, this is what I wanted to do with it. I wanted to make myself a little bit of light over in the windmill and also upstairs. This place is, still seems very, very terrible. I'm gonna remove the block here and since uh, this will no longer be needed, I can chop down this ladder. I'll get the pieces afterwards and I will have to, re you know, fill the place in with the remainder of the needed slabs. And there you go. Now our exit is gonna be right over here to go to a windmill. 
And nice. Okay, good. Now I want to make it uh, somewhat special. I want to make some sort of a neat looking kind of a rope bridge with uh, wooden logs on it. And I think I should be able to accomplish that with the pine plank uh, wood block. And I know how successful this little operation is going to be, but we're going to do our best. Okay. Yeah, apparently I'm going to have to work on this over here. Just move over here like that and kind of have this like this for now and i want to collect me uh, my candles there you go so i can actually make my lanterns with those so for this little piece i'm gonna have to uh, add myself the planks there there you go and after that that's where it's gonna get a little bit more tricky if i want to give myself like a some sort of a little uh, plank curve then i have to do a little bit of chiseling some quite fine chiseling work there there you go just like that kind of get the gist of it i believe my health hammer is ready and uh this is gonna be one hell of a project i'm gonna have to put some more uh logs in here and to be able to do the whole uh thing so here's our other metal plate let's uh, collect our clear quartz and let's make ourselves our lanterns there you go now we got a grand total of three so, because I don't want any monsters spawning upstairs anymore, I'm going to start putting some lanterns over here. Now, of course, this is not quite finished yet up here. But for now, I'm just going to stick them like that. Hopefully, it's going to give out a little bit of light and will stop the uh, monsters from spawning up here. And as for the last one, I'm going to keep it on me for now. And I'm going to have to go through the rest of this and make myself some more lanterns. And I do have enough of beeswax to do the job. So before we proceed over here, let's check on our leather. Everything seems to be ready. So we got another batch. Oh, this one was able to hold 40, uh, 25. So I got another additional 49 leather. So if I place it with my remaining, it gives me a grand total of uh, 65 leather in which I'll be able to make myself some more interesting equipment. I'd like to hear from you guys. What would you guys do with the leather? Maybe there's some stuff that I don't know about that you guys can give me a clue. Just leave it in the comments and I'll be sure to check it out. Anywho, uh, yeah, I was uh, trying to continue my chiseling work and the uh, freaking chisel broke. So it is going to be high time that I make myself another one. And you know what? For good luck, since I know a lot of chiseling will be in the f my immediate future, I am going to make two of them. Oh, wait a second. It seems like I need a hopper. That's when I need to move stuff around. A hopper will collect the materials and then I make him go through the chute. Oh, that is, that is really good to know. All right, let's get this metal hot there. Rick, make it hot. Ah, there you go. Thank you, Rick. That was fast enough. So let's uh, get cracking. Oh, that's one of them. Let's go for the other one. Sweet. So in the other one. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, no, it's not some sort of a weird fetish. Oh, there's an own one. I gotta do it. Gotta do it. It's not a. It's not a fetish, Rick. <laughs> it's just a satisfying sound. Yeah. Anyways, uh, since we got two of them, I can stick one of them in here. And we'll be able to go and do a little bit more chiseling and get that little bridge done. All right, so that gives me like one of the uh, wood logs. And I'm going to make it go all the way up there. And after that, I might do like a, some sort of a rope simulation to go on each side or something like that. I'm try to make it neat. All right, so to the sound of the wonderful health hammer, I bid you farewell. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. It always helps me a lot. And uh, yeah, right now, I gotta leave you guys. I got, I got a buttload of chiseling to do, so take care and stay safe. Raccoon out.